Good evening out there in YouTube land. Oh, I hope y'all are having a good evening out there in YouTube land. Well, I just want to tell y'all a few things about what has been going on with me. Yeah, what has been going on with the old white-haired man? Well, let me tell you. I've been having some real good sales. And then I sold something I was not supposed to sell. And I did not know. So, Mr. eBay, they gave me a three-day listing restriction. I've been through a lot lately. Been through a lot of court. No, I ain't a criminal. I didn't do that. No, it wasn't. Me. That, it was a car wreck I was in. Okay. But, you know, things get that way sometimes. You just have to deal with life the best you can. <laughs> and ask God to help you. See, he's the only one really hit you anyway. You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm totally to believe that. I'm going fix it. I'm going to back and come through. <laughs> well, I think I had 296 sales in the month of June. Wasn't a bad deal. And then when they did the new sale things and all that, you can't do the sale a certain way. Uh, well, Sales went down. Price per item went up. But that's not a bad deal, see? Well, kind of. But I don't really get mad at the program when it happens to everybody. Do I agree with it? No. But Check this out. In order to have a place in somebody else's playground, you have to play by somebody else's rules. Hope that makes sense. I'd like to do a live video one day, but it just, I don't really know how to do it, and I ain't had nobody kind of talk to me. If somebody taught me how to do it, I'd do it. But back to that three day restriction, well, they said I couldn't list or revise nothing for three, three days, okay? But they did not say that I couldn't make drafts. And I've still been selling even on the three day restriction from listing. I think I sold about $250 worth a day. And they, I don't I, <laughs> Yeah, that's all right. You know, that ain't what I'm normally doing, but oh well, that's can't always, you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometime, you just might find you get what you need. <laughs> I heard that before somewhere along the lines I did. I reckon so. <laughs> loud, loud, loud. So I've been doing drafts and taking pictures and 
getting things in order. I got access to about 2,000 books that are good books. Um, they're almost all brand new. There's a lot of courses in there in trigonometry and algebra tree and geometry tree and okra tree. No, they ain't no okra tree. I just like it. Pine tree, yeah. Pine tree. There ain't no pine tree. I'm just bullshitting y'all. Y'all know that. <laughs> but I don't know if I should put them on the Ian Bay are going to open back up my account for the Amazon. I, I just don't know enough about that F and a B and an A. And if I knowed how to do it, it probably ain't that difficult. But see, I'm watching videos, but don't, I, I just don't understand it sometimes. You know, I'm just one of them old country boys. Hell, I didn't even know how to spell computer until I was 71 years old. That's why I was 55 when I learned how to do it. <laughs> I ain't learned it all yet. Never will. But I, I be trying. Yes, 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 yes. I be trying. Um, I hope y'all are all doing all right. I, I get um one of them up. Depressed every night in. You know, I suffer from depression. That don't mean I get pressed on, but y'all know what I mean. Oh, Lord. Let me tell you about this situation. All right. I was in that uh, thrifting store the other day. Just got to keep the eyes open. Check things out. You never can tell what you might find. You never, ever, ever can tell what you might find. Just just don't know, see. That's why they call it sourcing. <laughs> Pretty neat. Ha <laughs> yeah, but gee. Gee. Oh. I've been there looking at them shirts. <laughs> What you wear, them men's shirts, what they wear, you know. And I was looking through them, and this fella comes in there, and he had one of them attitudes, you know. So he just kind of pushed his way in front of me. He didn't, like, touch me, because I would have whooped his ass if he would have had. But, uh, that's not very nice, but I would have had. I don't like that. So, he's... Walked up there in front of me and started looking at the shirts all in front of me. And he said, damn it, they ain't got nothing here that I want. So he just left. You know, I'm pretty much sure he was a reseller. Um, so I went, looked at the next shirt, looked at the next shirt, and looked at the next shirt. Oh, what did it say? Mizzen and Maine, made in the USA. Hank never heard no Mizzen and Maine. But I got that little telephone thing. It's got that app. Mizzen and Maine, extra large men. They sell about $56 used. $2.99. Wait a minute. This one here has a blue tag thing in it. Oh, that means it's on sale for well, 50% off. And I'm pretty good at math, but I ain't real good, but half of two ninety nine is a dollar forty eight and a half. I just so happened to have a half penny in my pocket. So I went ahead and got it. I brought it home and took them features of it, checked it out, make sure it's all right and all that kind of stuff. And stuck it on that eBay. About 
definitely on there for $84.88 because I like that 8 and the 8 at the end. I, I don't like the 9 and 9 because it, the 9 and 9, everybody else is doing 9 and 9. I like mine to be a little bit different where it won't be right in the middle of the 9 and 9. Make any sense? But I don't know what I'm doing. I have been told by some people, ex-friend of mine, I guess you'd say she was, ex-employee and all that. And I cared about her just a little bit, but she cared about me about that much. And she stole from me, and that was in the ball game. She told me that there was no way that I could do this by myself because I didn't have enough smarts. Lord of mercy. It hurt my feelings so bad. I cried for three days and three nights. But on the fourth day, I said, I'm not going to let her do that to me. You know I cried. You know I couldn't sleep. You know I was really worried about it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. But, um, I knew better. When I was in North Carolina, I was doing about an average to 10 to 15 grand a month. Gross. That's gross. But if you can't make profit out of 15000 a month, Something is wrong with your problems. You have a problem somewhere in the ballpark. Your business ain't, something ain't right. So, but I had a lot better uh, sourcing areas in the mountains where people were rich and had plenty of money. And then what they do, a lot of rich folks lived up there in that mountains. And when they lived up there in that mountains, they like had another house. Well, some of them had three, four houses, but one of them, like say, they have a house on Beach Mountain, up there in the mountains where they can stay up there and be cool in the summertime. Oh, and they may have one up there in Michigan or something like that. And then they got one down there in Florida. You know, where they'd be down there in the wintertime. Yeah, they get got it going on, you see. All right. Well, Grandma and Granddaddy, they get past old. They got to move on. Time to go on to another world, see. In heaven, hopefully. And then they have all this stuff in their house. But Cindy and Billy... And Edward and Jane, they already got their $300 espresso machine. They already got this. They already got that. They don't want none of it. Their kids don't want none of it. They, we just give this away. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to give it away. Oh, what are we going to give it to? Well, we give it to the Salvation Army. But, uh, Hebron Thrift Store, Fellowship for Young Men Thrift Store, and then that dreaded Goodwill. Oh my God, that Goodwill. I don't just, well, I'm not going to get into Goodwill. I find things in there that I make money on, so I can't say too much, but you got to be able to look, because they will mess up every now and then, and that's when you grab it. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Shit. Well, so I get that. And, um, I run into some. Uh, you ever seen one of them Glade plug in things? What got them little gel packs you stick in that wall and to make it smell pretty? You want know to talk about? Yeah, I knew you did. I picked up about 50 something of them one day for 50 cents a piece. I would have never thunk that I could sell it for what I did. 
I think I got one more left. And the cheapest set of three, one pack, the cheapest I sold was 13 6 gauge pack. That's not bad. You know, I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Um, and then things like that, you never know, air wicks. I sold four air wicks the other day that I paid a dollar a piece for. I sold them 40 bucks. But it's got to be the right ones, I guess. I don't really. I don't know all that stuff. I just know if it sells and it makes me money, I said it. Uh, my mama asked me every now and then, she said, Well, what'd you sell? Well, don't really know for sure. So don't worry about what it is. I just sell it. And I had a girl, woman, person, thing, something. Well, it had to be a woman or a man one or two. I done forgot what it was. On that uh, facing book one day, and I put on there what my sales was. And the person wrote back and said, What's your niche? I said, I don't itch. If I do, I scratch it. <laughs> that ain't what I really said. But I don't have no niche. So I wrote back and said, I do not have a niche. If it sells, I will sell it. Hope that makes sense to you. So I don't have a niche. Well, she got all mad. She said, well, I just, just, uh, don't, you just don't want us to know. Oh, okay. But that's not the truth. The truth is, I don't have a niche. I go into a thrift store, a flea market, or whatever it may be, and if I can pick it up and make money off of it, I am going to buy it. You, you just never can tell. It might be a shirt, it might be a pair of shoes, it might be a softball glove, um, it might be a bat, it might be an antique, it might be a cookware, it might be a hair something, it might be a hair bleach or hair dye, it might be ladies makeup, maybe even one of them bras, uh huh, <laughs> shit, yeah. Matter of fact, I was buying them Victoria's Secret bras one day at that thrift store up yonder. And the day the lady, she looked at me like I'm all crazy. I guess she was thinking I had one of them perverts. I looking at them. She kept looking at me. Kept looking at me. I said, dang, you know, she wondering about me. I finally I said, ma'am, I just have to tell you. I have got to have something to wear to work tonight. And she went on out to do it. She not said nothing else. I don't know what I did to her, but she just left. So, am I mad at eBay? No. Am I dis uh, disappointed in some of the changes they made? Yes, but like I say, if you're going to play in their ballpark, you got to play by their rules. And how many of y'all going out there that eBay open out there in that, uh, where is it at? Sin City, yeah, Las Vegas, where them folks that get out there and gamble and get drunk and spend that monies and all that. Well, I'm going to the eBay open. But I'd be willing to bet you a hundred dollars to your ten dollars that I don't spend one single nickel in one of them casinos. Cause I tell you, well, gambling should I say? I'm gonna buy food, of course. You know, <laughs> you know, I tear that buffet up. Dang right, at the trough. I love it. So, we, uh, I'm going out there to that Vegas. I'm not going to go gamble. I'm going to try to learn something. That's kind of hard for me to learn something. Yeah, I ain't a lot between here and here. But, other than that, uh, everything's going real well for me. And
<clears throat> my mom's doing okay. <coughs> She's been having an earache lately. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I get that asthma. <coughs> I'm sorry. No, it is right water. That asthma rough on you. Oh, back to the state of the business, I guess you'd say. I got a, I guess this room here is probably 20, 24 by 12. Got one closet in it on this end. Back down yonder on that end, there's a sink. Uh, sink and uh you know bathroom over in there and the shower and all that we don't use the shower we use the shower for storage over in that room on the other side of where that light is i got uh let's see six filing cabinets four door filing cabinets got two of the giant four by eight shelving systems um, and several more of the smaller platinum well not really small but the plastic uh, shelves shelvings um, and a garage full of stuff the FULD full and I got a lot to list do I buy every day? Oh yeah. People ask me why. Why do you buy every day when you've already got plenty of stuff to list? Well that's very easy. I like turning money. Yeah I'm an old man. I'm 61 years old. I ain't never worked nowhere long enough to get no retirement I think that's a little bit out right now I don't think I'll ever be able to put in 20 years somewhere I don't think that ever happens I don't believe that's going to happen uh, I'm not complaining I've never been married I'm not complaining about that either have I seen this United States from one end to the other you bet your sweet ass I have do I love America? Yeah, buddy. I'm not going to tell you my political thing because I want to make America great again. Um, I uh, like to ramble because I'm a rambling, gambling man. Um, I think some of these um, YouTube... Uh, channels and I won't call out any names but a lot of these YouTube channels in my opinion are clicks they're city clicks C L I Q U E S and if you're not in the click no matter how good you are at your business you're not going to be asked to be on one of their shows. You're not going to ask to be on one of their round tables. That's just the way it is. Facts is facts. Do I claim to know it all? No. But as a part-time, full-time, whatever... I can sell three, 250, 300 items a month and keep up enough listings to keep it at 700, 800 listings. I ain't stupid. Y'all might think I is, but no, 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 no. Y'all think I'm stupid. Y'all highly miss taken. There's that word. Ha, <laughs> yeah, every now and then I look up for <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Yeah. 
So, yep, yeah, I said it. Clicks. But one thing I had to learn in life, no matter how hard you try, you cannot make everybody like you. Not going to happen. Some people are going to hate everybody no matter what. I just happen not be one of them folks. <laughs> yeah, but hey. Um, if y'all get a chance, there's a really neat show. I ain't got nothing really to do with uh, reselling. But it, it, it's real good. It's a. Uh, Arms Family Channel. I don't know. Arm Family Homestead. I think that's what it is. It's a policeman, a state trooper, Christian family. Um, got a little boy that ain't Houston, five years old, soon be six. It's just a hoot. And he's not scared of YouTube one bit. I like watching families that do that. Um, Justin, I can't think of his name, Justin, but he does uh, gardening and homesteading and that kind of stuff. He's got a channel. First word's Justin, but I can't think of the last. But he's got a family, four boys. No, three boys and one girl. And they raise different things. It's very interesting. You know, very interesting. Um, it's got nothing to do with resale. I, I lately haven't been watching a lot of reselling videos. Um, one of the reasons, in my opinion, a haul video doesn't show you a lot. Anybody with some money and a place to put it can buy anything and tell you that they bought it. That's haul video. Um, but can you see it? What good is it? Hell, everybody, if you got enough money and a place to put it, you can fill up a warehouse, a giant one. But can you sell it? That's the thing. Can you sell it? If you can't sell it, it ain't no good. You know? I've been off and on selling in dealing and shit and everything since I was a young child. I dabbled in books when I was 8 and 10 years old, 50 years ago. Had one book that I wish I would have never sold. My grandfather bought it for me. And in one of my drunk, druggy days, when I didn't have no money, I said it was time to sell it. That was a mistake. I sold a ring my mom bought me too. That was turquoise, coral, red coral, and sterling silver. I won them drunk drug out days. I have been kicking myself in the rear end ever since. There's some things in life that people say, well, I have no regrets in life. I, I don't want to find them to say I'm regrets. But there's a few things I wish I wouldn't have done. You know? I got a lot of trouble. Did a lot of drinking. Did a lot of drugging. I hadn't ever drank alcohol 35 years. I'm an alcoholic. I will be the day I die. But it don't bother me no more. Um, 
you gotta give it to God. Cause you can't do it yourself. You got a problem, you can it just ain't happening. You can't do it yourself. That that's y'all can believe that or not believe that, but it doesn't really matter one way or the other. But uh that's just the way it is. You know. Did it take me a long time to believe that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lord. It took me a long time. I was invincible. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all may not know. Ain't none of us invincible. Ain't never one of us. None. No zero period. No, no. Ain't none one of us. Not never one of us is invincible. And let me tell you something. In my opinion, Y'all may not agree. But in my opinion, when God calls you, you go in. You ain't got no choice. But when God calls you, you're going. And you don't know when that time's going to be. But you better be ready when it happens because if you ain't, it's you're a little late, but that's just my opinion. Now that I'm on a religious thing, let me t explain something to you. There's a big difference between religion and Christianity. Just like probably there's a big difference from Muslim and Hey, Rab, I, I don't know what I mean by that, but you know what I'm saying. I, I think there's a big difference in the two. Um, I believe religion is man-made. If you want to be a member of this church, you got to buy by these rules. If you want to be a member of that church, you got to buy by these rules. If you want to be a member of this one over here, you got to buy by these rules. The rules you're supposed to abide by is the one that's in the Bible. Do I go to church every Sunday? Probably ever. Um, ain't got nothing against it. Not at all. Most time I go to the flea market on Sunday morning. And yes, I wear this hat that says John 3.16. I got several of them. And do I talk to people? Tell them about God? My, my, what happened in my life and everything? Sure. Do they want, do, do they want to hear it? I don't know. I've never had nobody tell me shut up. But, heck, y'all may just turn me off. And that's alright, see? Everybody's got their own thing. That's cool. <coughs> um, I don't want to contradict myself, but I love everybody. I don't give a dang if you white, blue, green, yellow, pink, purple, chartreuse. Amethyst, royal blue, don't care. I don't care if you're a man and you like you a man. I don't care if you're a woman and you like you a woman. I don't, I don't care if you was a man and you like you a woman. See, I don't care. It don't bother me either way because it ain't none of my business. Found out, I don't want to say long ago, but pretty much after I quit drinking that the only person in this life you really got to please is a man upstairs and I'm gonna call him God, y'all can call him whatever you want to, you know. Please him. And, and then you got to please yourself. But you got to be kind to your neighbors. If people loved each other, there wouldn't be all this killing and everything going on. 
Um, the drug situation that I see on TV, everywhere else, is bad, really bad. Um, I think because a lot of those people maybe I'm not a psychologist I, I think a lot of them think they have nothing to live for okay and it's our place to let them know that they have something to live for and people love them that's what we're supposed to do do I talk to everybody I meet oh yeah Oh, yeah. I had my niece ask me one day. She said, Uncle Nathan, you speak to everybody you see. If it ain't nothing but a good morning or a good evening or something, you hold the door open for somebody or... No. That's the way you're supposed to live. And I guarantee you, if you give a little bit back, it'll come back to you. But you know where giving things away time, just a second, just a hello, maybe a dollar if whatever. Um, and where that comes back? That comes back in the heart. You know, there ain't but one way to heaven and that's through Jesus, but it comes back in the heart. Do I believe we get rewarded for the things we do? I don't do it for that reason. But do I believe that? Oh yes, without a, without a doubt. Do I believe in karma? I don't know if everybody calls it karma. But you do people wrong, long, wrong enough, long, wrong, long enough, it'll come back to you. And the thing about it is, it might not always come back to you. In the same person or the same manner that you did somebody that way in. See? You never can tell what's going to happen. But eventually, the thing can catch up with you. Like, say, a drug dealer. They say, well, I'll never get caught. If you do the same thing long enough, yes, you will, too. It's just that simple. But on the other hand, if you want to build a successful business and you're consistently doing the right things, eventually that will happen. Is there going to be bumps in the road? Sure, who said life's going to be easy? They bumps in the road every day, you know? Some of them, they even put in speed bumps in your life, you know, just, that's just the way it is. But you got to keep on keeping on. Um, and like I heard Steve Harvey say one day, you got to jump. You, you got to jump. Uh, you got to take the jump. And that could be in a lot of different things. One of the jumps that I never took in life that I would have loved to have taken, and I did it in high school, I'd like to have been an actor. Probably wouldn't have been no good at it or anything like that, but I'd like to have tried it. But it just never happened. Do I regret it? No. I don't regret it. It's just part of it, you know. I went to... A, Thing with my mom not too long ago in Tallahassee, Florida. It was a Florida State get together. I was sitting there, I had my beard a little bit longer than it was, and hair just a little bit longer. I sat at the table, I told him this man, he pretty well had the same thing. And he was one of the head dudes at the uh, media, where they do the media and make movies and everything over in Tallahassee. And he gave me his card, and I haven't called him back yet because I don't think I'm capable of doing it. I, I, I just, 
I'm scared. But if I don't ever take that jump, I won't take it. Okay, just like I took a jump the other day on a WWE miniature belt from the no, WWF miniature belt from the Attitude Era of the WWF. It's about that big. And it was on sale 50% off, but still 50 bucks. I said, well, I'm going to take that jump. I took that jump. Sold it for 164. Yeah, it took me a couple of weeks to sell, sell it, and I've had a few lowball offers and things like that. But yeah, it got gone. But I get y'all probably tired of me boring y'all. Y'all probably half done turn this dang thing off by now, and I don't blame you because I'm just rambling. But y'all have a good evening. Remember something. This old white haired man loves y'all and wants the best for y'all. And God does too. Just let that soak in a little bit. Y'all have a fantastic evening. Old redneck man, talk to you later. Have a good one.